Hey guys, so I want to talk about uh, sheet list and view list. Uh, I'm just going to briefly look at them and some of the uh, basic parameters. If you haven't messed with those before or um, messed with the uh, sheet list or view list, they're really helpful for managing those two things. You could imagine on a large project, you accumulate a ton of views, a lot of sheets, um, and having one place where you can go and kind of view all that information and organize it correctly would be really helpful. So um, that's really easy to do in schedules. So if you right click on schedules, you have two options. You have the new sheet list and a new view list. You have these other ones as well. Um, but if you want to start organizing your views, this is um, uh, where you would go to create that schedule. So new view list. I'm going to close that and then it's going to prompt us to start dumping in some parameters. Uh, this is all dependent on what you have set up in that project. So if you have like custom parameters that you have created, um, then you may want to bring those over into the schedule. Uh, it's all dependent on kind of what's there and what uh, is important to you. But some of the things that we could do is like bring over the view name. We could bring over um the view template <clears throat> we could bring over like detail level um we could also bring over sheet name i mean sheet number and sheet name and like let's go ahead and press okay and now we have a view list so we can see the sheet number that's associated with it we can see the sheet name that's associated with that uh, project we can see the detail level, view uh, template, and the view name. Now we can see here there's no view template, but we can easily come in here and press OK and apply a view template to that view. Here's another one, an entry level. So we can go in here, go into this view template, uh, apply this reflective ceiling plan template to it. Um, and then we can kind of go through the rest of this list, applying the different view templates. So if we grab another one. Let's say it's the architectural plan one and then continuously go down this list and do that. Um, one way to handle this too is if like, you have a variety of different parameters or parameters uh, for like a, maybe a um, something to help order your sheets or you know, it's if you have custom things, you can add those parameters in here. You can organize this view list um, and that way you can, uh, you know, sort them by those uh, items you could do it from view name you could do it by sheet number or those custom ones that you add to this like for example if we want to come in here and do it by sheet number we can just say ascending ascending uh, we'll just keep it as this and then come in here and press ok now you can see it's actually organizing organizing it by sheet number so anything that doesn't have a sheet number associated with it has nothing down here it starts with a1 and then goes to a2 so uh, there's a variety of ways you can organize this data, but it's really nice to kind of come here and see the information like the views and stuff and then uh, fix anything that might be off. You could also take this list and then apply it to a sheet so that uh, maybe like a cover sheet for the project. You can put that information on there so that people can look at it and see what views are associated with it and what sheets they're on. Um, if you uh, have the detail level column all <clears throat> on or that parameter uh, in that in this schedule, so that would be over here, then you could also come here and change like the the um, the detail level. So we can say, hey, we know for sure that this um, these floor plans are not coarse, but they're medium or maybe even fine. So you can come in here and just verify and double check, kind of do a QA process on these views. Uh, same thing goes for sheets as well. So if we right click, we can go into a, um, a sheet schedule. So we'll just do a new sheet list. And then it's going to prompt us with that same dialog box to start picking up some of the different parameters. So for example, some of the ones you might want are like the sheet name. You may want the sheet number. Maybe you want the sheet issue date. 
Um, you could come in here and say what, what the current revision is, and then you can kind of go through this list. Again, um, if you do have um, some parameters added, you can bring those over as well. And then uh, if you're using a grid, you can bring that over and then just verify that that stuff's set up. So you can see here there's no grid set up. Now if you do create a grid, you can add it to those sheets from here or quickly turn them off. Sometimes grids are really nice to apply to a sheet so you can organize the layout of your different views. And sometimes uh, when you're going through and turning those on for each sheet, you may easily forget to turn those off. So this is one way to kind of back check that. Uh, you can come here and make sure that that sheet issue date is correct. You can see the sheet number. You can even update that sheet number here. You can come over here to the sheet name. You can change the sheet name as well. So you can update a lot of this information from one spot. And then um, if you do have a whole bunch of sheets, you can come in here, go to uh, sorting and grouping, and you can turn off itemize every instance. And then you can update those items all at once, uh, depending on the way that you're sorting that information. Um, currently, we only have two. This is a very small uh, project, so we don't have a lot of sheets set up. But as you can imagine, on a very large project that you have a ton of sheets on it, um, being able to view all that information and organize it correctly or just back check it is very important. And you can set up multiple sheets too. You can have one that you're placing on your cover sh cover sheet, and um, and then have one for like verifying that the correct settings or correct issue dates are on there. So check these out and see you know see how they help you. You know sometimes when I get into a project I'm not totally aware of if it doesn't have these things set up already, I'll go in there and create those so I can kind of get an idea of what's going on in that project. So, you know, let me know how you use uh, view list and sheet list. Let me know if you have any questions or if I missed anything. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, feel free to like, share, comment, and uh, see you in the next one.